Dr. William Ruto, C.S. Moses Courier, the leadership of the National Chamber in Commerce. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm happy and delighted to be here to accompany my boss in a forum where his heart is. I had different engagements, but last night he asked me to accompany him here because he wants witnesses around him, as we've done around the economy of this country. And uh, Your Excellency, you have instructed those of us who serve under you that you want a complete turnaround of the work ethics in this great republic. And you have told us so many times, and we have heard, that you want every leader who serves under you to keep time so that we save time and make money. You have told us that it is unacceptable in your government for any leader who serves under you to keep the business community waiting even for five minutes. And that is why we, are, we were here on time because that is the way things are being done in this country. Your Excellency, you have indicated, and rightly so, that your administration has brought a new management style of continuous engagement with stakeholders. And that is why for the last one month, you have engaged the Kenya Zishima Manufacturers. You are here today. You are the Nairobi Securities Exchange. And you have created time for the creators of wealth. These people, Your Excellency, to be truthful, had been incited against us. They were told we are bad people, <laughs> that we don't mean well for business, that we only care about the hustlers. They even went ahead to threaten them that we can take away their wealth and the balance we give it to the hustlers. These people now know that we are the people they needed around this country. The problem of Kenya for many years is just one. Professors of political science, the greatest economists, can write many things about the problems of Kenya. The problem of Kenya has been one of leadership. And you people know, for your companies to succeed, it must start with the CEO. If you get it right at that level, you are good. True or false? What Kenya needed was a CEO who knows what he's doing, who has time, who has the energy, who has the passion, and who is willing to be a team leader of this great country. And I want to say, much as you people were incited against us and you almost got lost, the ordinary Kenyan knew the kind of leadership this country needed. Be as it may, be as it may, from where I sit, listening to the president every day, his leadership revolves around investors entrepreneurs, the business people, and creating the right environment for business to thrive and for creating wealth. Never again.